most rivers, when you get to a calm section, you can rest a little bit. But on Merch, that calm flat water is definitely more terrifying than any of the white water. Being a kayaker in Central Africa, inevitably you're gonna have crocs in the river. Nile crocodiles are huge. They can be up to 20 feet long and they'll hunt you. They often hide underwater waiting to strike. And if a crocodile attacks you, there's nothing you can do. We were much more likely to see a crocodile in a very, very flat river with no current. So this is the start of the supermarket. It's very narrow, the water's flowing slowly, lots of rocks with crocs to uh, bake on. So uh, this is, yeah, I don't think I've ever gone through here without a charge. So I hope it's today will be the first time. But uh, keep your eyes open, guys, to scan the kind of river level, especially for like open rocks. So the supermarket is where the crocs hang out in order to feed. You're the food in their supermarket. The risk of the crocodile isn't when it's sitting on the bank in the sun. The risk is when it is in the water and you can't see it. Definitely the most jaw-droppingly scary experience I've ever had. Henry was talking us through the experience. We were able to just focus on the sound of his voice and focus on his direction in order to not get overwhelmed. All of a sudden, you hear this glorious roar of whitewater, and you know you're through it. High five, guys. <laughs> but I didn't see, like, a single croc. Maybe that gave a false sense of invincibility or something. Murchison Falls definitely cemented us feeling like a good, solid team. We were ready to paddle a bunch of rivers, explore new places, and meet new people. That whole two months, we were really living that dream of exploration. <laughs> <laughs> to the best of village, I mean, the best of village.